Last time. Last time. Forgive me. where you're kind of making this complete body contraction then expanding, yeah? Sometimes driving forward, sometimes it, um, kind of vibration, yeah? So let's just practice this part. Everybody go from this point. Okay. Okay, then think about your center. Think about your center line. Everything should be coming to this one point before you're expanding into stop. Okay? So, so from here, have a sense of your kind of lower body is being mirrored by your upper body. So you're getting this compression here. Okay, try here. And you meet this kind of apex of contraction before you release for stone. Here. Then, like, your front leg will move, but don't purposely step out. Just from here, drive forward, Sam. Then this is quite almost a narrow stance. But from here, you're really kind of driving this left side forward. All you're going to do is release and then drive forward again. Go. On. Good, show me that now, yeah, show me that. But of course, the temptation is just to turn into hammy, but it's not. From here, you're vibrating your hips into nukta, yeah? Yes. And then come through your centre, and hack, yeah! Oh, show me that's really, like if you use this, it's a really heavy punch, yeah? Kind of completely connected to your, your torso. Okay? Okay, one more time. So, from here, yeah? Okay. Get this connection. Almost feel like you're you're reaching that apex of contraction. You can't contract any more than you're expanding into back stance. Okay. Oh, oh. So this squeeze, release, itch. Then drive me. Then some Good. Any questions? Any questions at home? No. Okay, guys. Change partner. Something different. Uh, that's making three because there's an odd number now, so. Uh, Max and Nick. Okay, so guys, just one person do it. One person watch, yeah? I want to see that from the, like, go from the Tati Ken, Sto, MP, Nukite, Punch. Understand? Yes. Those four movements, then, then people who are watching really look for that maximum contraction point before driving forward to Sto. Maximum rotation when you're doing the MP. Then release the maximum rotation for the hip, hip vibration before kind of coming through your center to drive forward into tactic head. Okay? Oh. Okay, two minutes, guys, give it a go. Yeah, one person do, one person watch. Hey. <laughs> Show me that. Show me that. From here, here, boom, vibration. Vibration. Show me that. Show me that. Show me that. Um, relax, AJ, relax. More rotation, yeah? Maximum rotation here. Yeah. Not just stop. No, no body movement. Uh, sorry, no foot movement. Just vibration. Not coming back here. Ten more seconds, guys. Ten more seconds. Go past now again. Lisa. Let's check it. Okay, back here. Let's pretend you listen to me in this dojo because there's people watching. Oh, oh, thanks for that. Thanks for that. Oh, yeah. Hi, 
yeah. one of those stepping forward. It's, so yeah, I'm just going to talk about that because there's people doing it here as well. Yeah, it's just hip vibration. Feet stay exactly where they are, vibration your hips driving in with the yeah? Uh, and and also, he just added Yeah, as I sensei, I don't like there was times when as I sensei never taught a single kata the same way twice. Uh, but like as far as I, I can only teach, I can only speak for how he taught me, and how he taught me was feet to step together and give vibration on the middle. Uh, as I sensei, also it's difficult to see even on the videos he does because his keyhole was so um, uh, developed. I don't know you could say it was like very, it can be, sometimes be kind of a little bit scruffy, but. Uh, yeah, it's very difficult to see how what he was actually looking for. But as far as I am concerned, feet still. Yeah. Okay, uh, so the guys, yeah, a couple of people are doing this. Yeah, everyone, one more time. Okay, from here, right? Okay. Just, okay, left hand foot, uh, right hand foot. Yeah. Just be careful. Quite a lot of people are plopping into position. Yeah. So you're kind of plopping in, heels going first. You're going to damage knee. Try to kind of come through this contraction point, this this center, and then smoothly moving into the block. Understand? Absolutely. So you must always like. Have a sense that your, your toe is driving forward. Okay, from here, shtoy. Then it's, it's really worth practicing your heel, every time you do shtoy, your heel swings slightly off the ground. Like, like it, was, it was always taught that you could slide a piece of paper underneath your heel in shtoy, in back stance. You understand? So like this, this sense of heel landing, you'll, you'll never do if, if your heel is always slightly off the ground. Okay? Okay, then from here, just driving forward, back leg driving forward, as if you do nukite, yeah? Exactly the same, just empty knee. Then maximum rotations, almost like gaku hamni, yeah? And you're going to do moshi empty, it's gaku hamni. Then from this point, your hand is facing the target. It shouldn't be, you shouldn't just be in showman with your hand pointing this way, like in hiyan katas, or other, other katas where you do moshi empty. This one, you completely re rotate in. So this hand, this nukite, is already going directly to target. Good, then from here, just hip vibration in knee. Okay, then last time. Sam! Hey, oh, hey, oh. Hey, oh. Oh, good. Everyone, Sam? Oh, oh. Okay, one more time from the beginning, yeah? Oh. Okay, knee. Sam. She. Go. Okay, good. Everybody just stay in the same stance, just shuffle back a little bit. Okay, so next one is Giran uh, UK and then Giran Marai as, as you come coming up. Yeah? So, so from here, 45 degrees. This left, uh, right leg up and block here. The same height, yeah? And from here, this Uchi UK feeling, but blocking. Hand underneath. Hand underneath. How many dutch, yeah? How many dutch? Then scan UK, sah. As you make sure. Then from here, Yoryash. Yoryash, empty, she. Before hip vibration, tati ten. Okay? Next one, direct. Tetsu, yeah? Hand underneath. Tetsu hitch. And say, it's like the same, 45 degrees. Same side, everything, yeah? Knee. Sam, look! She! Yoya Shu! And Tatiken, no! Ayame! Alright. Okay? Okay, so it's the same side, yeah? Right side up, this block in this way, then block, strike. Same that side, then you just turn, same that side. So you're not changing, like normal cats, you do one side, one leg, one side, the other leg. This one's a little bit different. Okay? Okay, okay, one more time, yo. What's up, guys? What's up? No, we just squish. Squish, push, push. Don't, don't be shy, tell them to people. Okay. Okay, yo, yo, Okay, so 45 degrees, yeah? Keep the same height, don't come up. Yeah, Knee, look! How many dash, how many feeling, yeah? Then Sandra. Okay, then Yoda, she! And vibration. Okay, direct it, so you go. Rock, same high, then block. Shish. Ha ha, go. So your dash on the MP, when you push Tatkin, you stay still. Okay? So you can feel this quite, quite dynamic each time you're, you're trying to go from maximum harmony or maximum gaku harmony. 
And so they from here, back some hammy, and then as you pull, you're making shawman. Then this hip vibration, yo yes, boom, and you're making gap hammy. Completely turn. Before releasing back to shawman again. Okay? Okay, last hand. Uh, from here. Okay, you. Okay, Okay, snap. Knee! The same as with Chuke position, yeah? Not too long, not too short. Same as with Chuke. Okay, then you're there. Shi! Go! What's that? Look! Shi! Ha! Go! 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 Okay? Good. Okay, guys, pair up. Different partners, something different. Uh, you okay, so um, I just want you to check with your partners, like a couple of important things. Firstly, let me see, from this position, yeah? firstly, you're keeping the same height. Like, of course, the tendency is to come up. But I want you to kind of keep the same height to make sure you can drive forward. So, so from this point, you're covering, blocking. Okay, so let me retract yeah, a little bit. Like, we were talking, oh no, it was a uh, Saturday, I was in Abbey Field, I was teaching, we were talking about Kanka Show, where you're, uh, Ross, please, please, just change you're, you're kind of, if someone attacks uh, John and Punch, then you're blocking, striking, and, and attacking this way, yeah? Let's see, so the uh, non paying audience can see. Okay, so, so you're blocking this feeling, and you're blocking this thing. This is basically managing a mind. This block. In Kanka Show, it's this way. In all the short Kankatas, even Kanka Show, it's this way as well. Okay, but this is just a, a, an elongated version of this. This is just a kind of Shotokan version of this, which is an old Okinawan form. And this is an old Okinawan version of the same movement. Understand? Oh. This, what we're doing is basically the same as this, albeit fairly stylized and a little bit kind of yeah, stylized. Okay? So, but I want you to think about how when you block, it's always a bong, this double tap. Same with Mosh UK. If someone attacks Mosh UK, you're you're doing a double tap. You're you're blo uh, no, sorry, you're blocking and blocking before this one's coming around to attack. You understand? Awesome. This double kind of double tap, double block kind of movement. Okay. So so this is in essence the same movement. From here, you're blocking, taking control, striking, all being in a very stylized way. Before this block and taking control, scam UK and pulling as you're making clap head. Uh, again, and then one more time, Kathy Ken. First time? So, with your partners, just check. First of all, they're not coming up, they're keeping the same height. And then from here, maximum harmony before making shawman. Then Yoriash, Gakko harmony, hit vibration, Kathy Ken. Okay? Good. Give it a go, guys. Let's try. <coughs> Okay, 
Yummy. We're going to spend a little bit more time on that book. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Dennis, someone has a question? Yes. Yeah, like Kung Fu is a bit bottom up, I think, yeah? But, uh, like, certainly karate is, is uh, top two. With this, this kind of inflection at the end, this, this kind of driving feeling at the end. Uh, but, yeah. Okay? Uh, okay. Then, guys, I just want you to kind of, this course of this block here, yeah? So, I just want you to, uh, Ross, so, with your partners, just get used to the feeling. So, so if Ross attacks, then uh, anything, have this, this cover, cover feeling before you're striking. Have this sense of, of how much you need to block. A lot of you are kind of blocking round. Have a sense of meeting this hand. As soon as you meet the hand, then you have you know exactly where it is you can attack. You understand? Yes. Yeah, so just one person attack, one person cover, and strike. And just get used to this, this natural movement and then and then all of a sudden this this kind of becomes fairly natural. Okay? Okay, one person try, well, one person attack, one person do it. Off you go guys. Yeah, guys, make it three, yeah? Guys, spread out, you can tell you when I'm demonstrating. Tell you when I'm demonstrating. Out. Yeah, it. Here comes this. Yeah, this is coming this way. And then you are striking for this. Guys, we want to spend longer about this, just uh, 30 more seconds, make sure both sides are going to go. Too late. Seconds to reach perfection. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Open hand. Yeah. So from from this point, you're going 45 degrees. Block, 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 and strike this thing. Before this is open hand, open hand, and then back. Okay. Okay, guys, let's go from the beginning. Yeah. Okay. Find space. <coughs> you can see exactly come down a little bit more. Okay, let's try again, sorry. So, yeah, there's quite a lot going on here, yeah? 
quite a lot of intricate movements, so we'll, we'll take it spray by that. Okay, so first one is Shuto. So Joran to Joran. Generally speaking, Uchi strikes. If it's a Chudan strike, it starts Chudan. If it's a Joran strike, it starts Joran. Oops. Okay, so, Oops. so this is a Joran, so start Joran, and strike. Shuto itch. Okay, then coming around, knee. Okay, half step. This hand comes round. Round and a strike, she. Okay, hand comes up. Now get on the right. Stay, keep your stance, just grab. And then round. And strike. Before coming back to this position. Hey, you Stance pierce, as in use one. Okay, okay, last time. Three stance moments, that's it. Okay. So, 45 degrees. Ditch! Knee straight. Sand. Okay, hand up, block cheap. Don't move, grab. Then drive forward and rotate. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay. Okay? Almost got it? Okay, let's just try a few things, yeah? Let's just try the end bit first, then we'll move back. So, this. Like, you know, often it's described as, like, let's give the birthday boy a stick. <laughs> often it's described as someone attacking, and you're grabbing like this way, and coming round and striking in this way, yeah? That's, that's okay. Yeah, it kind of works, yeah? So from here, where are we here? Where, yeah, so he comes in, I've got to be very accurate, yeah? To make sure that I'm not grabbing too far up here, but down, and then from this point, we're going round and driving in, and one more time, driving in. And it also explains the hand positions. So from here, you're grabbing and you're pushing down. And your thumbs are like this, yeah? Thumbs are like this. Okay, not normal fist, this way. Okay? Good. And then from this position, as you turn, you change this hand position. This hand stays the way it is. Same so make your make your as well, make your short arm. So the same. From here to here. Do you understand? Kind of explains it. It's, so it's quite, quite a nice idea. You can you can try it, but we've only got one six, so we'll, we'll do something else. So um, so if Ross is attacking, I want you to have this sense of driving in and pushing. Then from here, this power going in here as you're breaking. Do you understand? So from here, you're grabbing and driving in and then changing your hand to break as you push the elbow. So this is, means that, so you'll, see, okay, so you'll see an awful lot of people kind of like this. One, two, three. And all the power's going this way. They're rotating on their heel. The power's going this way, yeah? If you should have a sense of your power driving in. Although you're facing this way, it's this level of control with the fist that you need, with your weight traveling in that direction. Okay? Do so you want to try? So grab, strike, break. Okay? Here we go, guys. Try. Have you got partner? Yeah, so this, this is this way, okay. one, two. So as you're coming, grabbing, you're already going in. And then strike. So in the cutter, it's one, two, three. But in reality, it's one, two. Yeah. 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 Yeah.